welcome to May 21st, fifth work day of the week that we shall call it Thursday. And also time now to get into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above. Day 141 of the year 2009. Time again, brethren, to open up our Bibles and be able to read along with me. Also write down pad and paper the chapter and verse that we give you so that you can go back and study the whole thing at your own leisure. Then you will get something out of it and you will find we've not taken just a little bit out of context. Also being that I go through here kind of fast because of time limitations, you can use the pause button down here in the corner and be able to stop and start this video. Well, brethren, let's start out in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. Jesus Christ our Lord. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Philippians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the stake. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in the earth, and things under the earth. John chapter 4 and verse 25 we read, Messiah, which is called Christ. Christ means anointed. The Messiah in the Hebrew is anointed. The anointed one. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. The Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath set me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives. Now 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 45 and 47. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit or a, a life-giving spirit. The second Adam is Lord from heaven. John chapter 20 and verse 28. My Lord and my God. John chapter 13 verses 13 to 15. You call me Master and Lord. And you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. What he's saying here is that we should be a servant to other people. That's what the servants did when they come into the different houses is warts the people's feet. So you should go out and be a servant. You don't have to wash all their feet, but you're going to need to be a servant to their needs. Wisdom comes from above. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Poverty may be preferable, preferable to perverseness. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 1. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 6. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways through he be rich. Preferable, pardon me, to untruthfulness. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 22. What is desired in a man is kindness. The poor man is better than a liar. Preferable to wickedness. Proverbs chapter 15, verses 16 to 17. Better is a little with fear of the Lord than great tre treasures with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fatted calf with hatred. 
Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 8. Better is a little with righteousness than a vast revenue without justice. Preferable to strife. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 1. Better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. Is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. If you will only let guide, God guide you, Psalms chapter 48 and verse 14, He will be our guide, even to the end. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Brethren, have you been following the men's way and trying to grab everything that you can get a hold of? Nothing wrong with being rich if you do it God's way. Don't stomp on the little fella to get in your pocket more change. Fellow, follow God's way and not the tradition of men. And if you want to change and want to know the right way to riches, to his kingdom, to his salvation, get down on your knees and repent for doing all the traditions of men to go after the get. And if you truly want to change in your heart, ask the Father and the Son to forgive you. And they will hear you and grant you that wish. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.